feminism is pretty cringy, right? We all know that. A group of people complaining about the rights they already have and straight fabricating problems so the party doesn't have to stop. But then Mike sauntered along and said, no, no, this isn't enough. We need more. We need to try and be funny while still driving our bullshit rhetoric. And so that's what they did. They failed, obviously. But the needle on my cringeometer span so quickly it flew off and embedded itself in the wall. So back up BuzzFeed and have a break Huffington Post. There's a new lol cow in town. Are you a woman? Is that? Are you a white woman and a feminist? Who the fuck uses a fucking plate for a cupcake? Fuck off. And he's still in the little wrapper too, so you're still gonna have to pick it up with your hands. Your white feminist hands. Do you have trouble focusing? Is that what white women do, is it? Take photos of cakes? She's not gonna eat it, either. Once that photo's uploaded to Instagram, the whole lot's going in the bin. Calories, innit? Even the plate gets chucked in because it touched the cake. On the issues that affect only heterosexual cisgender women. Okay, here we go. This is nice. A slight hint at some humor, but also a little dig at white women there, implying their issues are superficial in comparison to black feminists, I guess. We've got weight loss because only white women worry about that, don't they? There's no such thing as a fat black person and all men love it when they have tits. Then there's clothing sales. Everyone likes paying less for something, so shut the fuck up. And happy hour, which is more my field than anyone else's. So Mike has unwittingly shot feminism in the foot there by undermining and highlighting the issues as preposterous in comparison to the issues of intersectional feminism, despite the fact that their issues don't vary all that much at all and they fall under the same banner of feminism and are therefore both fucking preposterous. Then white feminism is the brand of feminism for you. I'm not sure the best way to combat racism is to label everything with a colour, but it seems to be working for them, doesn't it? They don't actually label everything, they just paste the word white onto anything bad. It saves time this way because you don't have to make up your own mind about it. They've done it for you. Aren't we lucky? White feminism is a simple, single-dose tablet that you take with your daily morning yogurt and calcium supplements. Yep, yep, maybe wash it down with a refreshing glass of bleach. White feminism segregates the issues that matter to you from the ones that you have no experience with. I'm not sure if segregate was the best word to use there, guys. I mean, I know you lot are all for it and all. Safe spaces for women, safe spaces for black women, safe spaces for disabled black women. Because you've got a hierarchy, haven't you? It's almost a class system for this odious little society. Elitism based on perceived oppression. Things like increasing the minimum wage or addressing police brutality. I'm, I'm ignoring this bitch. They have nailed the cheesiness of an infomercial though. I'll give them that. Whether or not that was the intention, we don't know. Right, minimum wage is an economical issue. Not sure how many feminists have a degree in economics as well as gender studies. I wouldn't have thought it possible when you have one side telling you the wage gap is real and the other side scoffing at the very idea. And police brutality, which is, I mean, how many women are victims of that really? I mean, I'm sure the numbers are there, but they must be nothing when compared to the numbers of police brutality on men. And these are the cases where it wasn't seen as him getting what he deserved. And how many feminists, when they hear of such a case, think to themselves, oh good. White feminism empowers you to shut down the patriarchy. Well, judging by the tone here, I'm glad we can all agree the idea of the patriarchy is worthy of ridicule. And members of the LGBTQ community, women of color, the disabled, and otherwise marginalized persons. What the fuck is it with LGBT? You lot often profess feminism is about equality between men and women. We know it's not, but that's what you say. Where in that is there any mention of sexuality, skin color, or disability? Do you know what does encompass all of those things? Egalitarianism. But you guys would rather believe in the patriarchy than that. Feminism has so many meanings these days. Inclusive, intersectional. Where is the feminism for women in this political climate who are worried about all the money we have to spend on bridesmaids dresses this summer? Well, it was never gonna be a bride's dress, was it? Look at you! After I spoke to my doctor, oh, he's my girlfriend with a PhD in anthropology, I knew I'd found the right feminism for me. Right, so they just did that joke about their doctor being an anthropologist, which was spot 
fucking on. Couldn't have said it better myself. Which makes me think this intersectional feminism is displaying the same opinion of white feminism as I have about all fucking feminism. But given my opinion disregards skin colour, who's being racist here? Black people can be fucking retards too, you know. Just look at your favourite BLM riot. White feminism fits my lifestyle, earning 50k a year, living with my Instagram famous French bulldog in a neighborhood with three Thai delivery places. <laughs> Maybe stop ordering food from all three at the same time then, love. And did you say 50,000 a year? That's some walking around money, that. But I guess you only got that salary because you're white. No one with dark skin is capable of becoming a CEO, a movie star, or the fucking president of the United States, are they? Such restrictions. White feminism isn't for everyone. It's for you. Even if I'm a black woman, I thought there was a better feminism for that. Side effects may include believing the only wage gap that exists is 23 cents. Saying things like, I can't believe our country is racist during Rose happy hour, or spending over $200 on an ovary sweater. Fucking hell, now I gotta go back and listen to it again, you fucking bitch. Right, we got side effects may include believing the wage gap is only 23 cents. Well, believing in any wage gap is a fucking rookie mistake and shows a blatant lack of understanding when it comes to anything outside of your own head. Then we have saying things like, I can't believe our country is racist over Rose happy hour. Well, that depends. If you're saying it incredulously, you're probably going to be okay with your feminist buddies. Until you go to the bathroom, obviously, then they're going to bitch about you until you come back. If you genuinely can't believe your country is racist, then you're probably the kind of level-headed person that has no business with feminism, white or otherwise. I mean, a country isn't a fucking person, is it? It's comprised of the entire population. So you implying the majority of individuals are racist is a bullshit generalization. Just like saying the majority of feminists hate men is a bullshit generalization because apparently you hate white women too. Awesome way to recruit members, that. That must be why so many people take you seriously. Oh, and the last one was spending $200 on an ovaries sweater which I'm pretty sure was a joke, but looking back at the Women's March in January could easily have been a straightforward statement. I wonder how long a t-shirt with testicles would last on the market. So if you're not ready or unwilling to check your privilege, talk to your doctor. Scratch that. Talk to your nutritionist or Pilates instructor about white feminism today. Ah, oh, it's nice to see them fall to win fighting, isn't it? Because men are no longer the only viable target, you see. I have noticed an influx of this shit recently, though. I think the far left got all riled up about Trump becoming president and started gathering a war chest of things to say and shit to do that would throw a spanner into the works. Because they were probably expecting Trump to make them wear muzzles or something by now, but he hasn't. So there's all this energy floating around with no outlet, and it just builds and builds and builds, until eventually the feminists eat each other. The one thing I will give them though is they have a remarkable capacity for taking shit from each other. Even in this video, all the ladies are there laughing like, oh, I'm a white racist piece of shit. Because that's what they need. The most futile of fights based on the shakiest of foundations. Something like people being born with different colour skin. That's never gonna change. And that's just the kind of battle they love. Thanks for watching guys, and remember, if you wanna be cool, you gotta be oppressed.